All right, now we've got uh, Bristol Melinde from uh, American Top Team, uh, Washington, and we're seeing uh, Rich Antonito uh, from uh, local, from New Jersey, actually. Representing Planky Jiu-Jitsu, I haven't really heard much about his club, so I'm looking forward to see what he's got. But uh, Marunde looking to extend Brazilian or American Top Team, pardon me, American Top Team's win streak to two and zero. His his stablemate Steve Bruno just uh, scored a very decisive knockout in the first fight of this uh, the show, and I'm sure that Marunde wants to follow it up with an equally decisive win. Now, this should be a good fight. I, I've heard a lot about Marundi. Um I know that he's uh, he actually uh, fought at uh, MFC Four against. Uh, Alexei Vezelazarov, and uh, he's, he displayed some extremely solid skills in, in that fight. Uh, neither guy here is bashful about kickboxing. They're both uh, hacking away at each other with some preliminary kicks. And uh, Atenito looking more aggressive right now, charging in and, and trying for that takedown. I like the knees in the clinch. Uh, once again, an active clinch uh, is either going to tell tell an opponent or break it up so that the guys can start striking again. Yeah. Atenito has got, uh, he's got a fairly solid uh, just beginner's record. He's 2-1-0 oh right now. Looks he's got some solid hands. Definitely good boxing combinations here. And uh, neither fighter back in the wall. Oh, Miranda looks like he's got a solid left hand. And recovering well, but you know, that's going to tell a tale on the judges' cards. It oh, looks so. like Miranda's not too shaken, though. Coming right back in the Muay Thai clinch and looking for those knees. Yeah, good solid hands from uh, Anamito. He's, uh... I like both of these guys. I mean, they're very aggressive. Neither one of them likes to fight going backwards, obviously, because the majority of this fight's been right in the center of the ring, toe to toe. Yeah, vicious uh, striking from uh, Adonito. He's got a, he's really building a solid name on the Northeast circuit. Uh, he's been fighting in uh, mass destruction and reality fighting over in uh, here in Jersey. So it's uh, he's definitely building a name for himself. Yeah, he's he's definitely the the more active of the two fighters, uh, and he pretty much has to be. I mean, Morunde looks to have a significant size and reach advantage and uh, I'm presuming a strength advantage as well. He looks to be the larger man. Yeah. Uh, in a situation like this, he's, he's definitely getting the better of Adonito just by virtue of his limb length. But, you know, Rich is plugging away with those knees and punches too. He's, he's not letting Morunde be complacent. No, they're de definitely both pushing the action here. I've, uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, solid ability from both fighters. I think uh, Morunde is, uh, he... He's been in with some solid guys. Uh, I think he lost a decision at one point to uh, Art Santori. So he, he does have some solid uh, experience. He's, He's uh, got to watch dropping those hands on the round kick, though. It's a problem that I've, I've encountered myself, and my training partner was always getting on me about it. <laughs> now, again, a failed takedown. Miranda's technique looks a little bit sloppier than Atenido's, and... Uh, Perhaps he's a little bit used to using his strength as opposed to using his technique, whereas being a smaller man, Atenido's had to stress his technique because he's, he looks to be slightly technically superior, as is shown right here. One mistake from Marunde, and uh, Atenido's got a dominant position in north-south. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, I think uh, we're going to see some, uh, some solid grappling uh, skill here. Atenido trying to set up an anaconda choke, but I'm not entirely sure that his arms are long enough to do it. Nice hip heist and nice work to get out of there by Morunde. And we're back to our feet again. This is shaping up to be a really good fight. Neither one of these guys came here to walk around in circles. They're both looking to end this fight and end it quickly. Both uh, ready to press the action. Whoa, good solid left hand and lands right on the button on Atenito. And he's lucky that Morunde didn't load that up a little more. Yeah, this is, uh, the guys are definitely here to bang. Again! That jab is really landing for Morunde. He'd be, he'd be well advised to put a little bit more pepper on it. This is uh, definitely trading well here. Smart work on Atenido's part. He wants to get this fight off the feet as quickly as possible. And, well, ground. apparently right out of the ring under <laughs> the ground. A good work, though. I mean, when he found the fight, he was getting the worst for the standing fight. He went immediately for the takedown. Yeah, this has definitely uh, been an exciting match so far. Good, solid... Uh, Low round kick from uh, Marunde. Marunde would do well to get a little busier with his strikes. I mean, he's landing those outside leg kicks, definitely landing the jab. He, he would be well advised to let his hands go a little more often, try to keep Atenido at the end of his jab and do some damage here. Again, he charges in with that round kick in his landing, but he's not really doing anything with it, and he's doing it with his hands down. Now, Atenido's showing that he's got some hands himself, he might just make Morunde pay for lunging in like that. Yeah, you know, I think... Uh... I mean, trying to round kick on his own, but uh, maybe not the best game for him. He doesn't want to go to the body with those kicks. Morunde now squashing his knees into his head. 
We'll see what I mean those ground skills are like now. He is from a jiu-jitsu club, so hopefully he's got something here. But he's dealing with a bigger man in a dominant position. Yeah, and definitely uh, submission is not going to be a suspect for Melinda coming from American Top Team up in Washington. They're training with guys like Jeff Munson, a lot of uh, solid, uh, solid grapplers. Dennis that, Hallman. Dennis he's, Kang. Yes. Oh, we're going to oh, grab this here. Glove problems here. Uh, perhaps the M MFC gloves could use a bit of modification to keep the fighters' hands from popping out of there. Yep. But uh, I'm sure a well, welcome rest for both fighters. They've been very busy throughout this first round. And uh, after escaping, that needle just needs a little bit of modification. We'll be right back at it. Five seconds left in the round. And both fighters looking. No! I was just about to say both fighters looking like they're just going to last the round out. But uh, Morunde very, very aggressive. This, this bodes well for an exciting second round. That was a very solid first round. We saw a lot of back-to-back uh, -back action there. These guys really win and training well. Yeah, that Nito's corner, I'm sure, telling him that his best bet is to get this fight on the mat as quickly as possible, which he obviously already knows. Absolutely. But Morundi's corner, I hope, are telling him that he has got to get busier with his kickboxing. It's working for him, but he's not doing much with it. You know, he's landed a couple of really stiff jabs in that Nito's face and then not bothered to follow him up. You know, throwing that right leg round kick, not following it up. Here we see again, an exchange of hands between the two. Both That's guys landing loud. solid shots in the yep. face. Who and that is why Morunde does not want to lunge in. Who do you have ahead right now, Paul? To be honest, it's it's tough to call it. I really wouldn't want to be a judge, but if I had to give it to somebody, I would give it to Morunde by virtue of just his physical dominance and aggression. Right. That needle looks a little bit technically superior to me, but, but looking at... at Scenes like this, Marundi is winning with aggression and winning with superior strength. That needle's got to force his fight. True enough. Here we go, beginning round two. Marundi's got to get those hands up. I mean, he's giving At Nito opportunities to win. Once again, locking up with a Muay Thai clinch, but uh, At Nito showing good presence of mind, right hooking his way out of there, and a beautiful right handed beautiful uppercut. Right hand, yeah. Marundi answering back. Yeah, these guys are definitely uh, looking to do some damage. Atnito's got a good snappy lead left hook. Now throwing a lead left uppercut. He's doing well with that, but he's got to learn to close the distance a little bit more, set it up, and get past those long arms of Morunde. Now nicely thrown. He finally got his weight behind that right leg round kick. If that's all he's going to throw, he better throw it with some authority. And there's that left hand again. I'm so surprised that Morunde's not using that more often. It lands almost every time he throws it. You're right, he'd do well to load that up a little more, I think. Morundi doing well with the left jab. Atenito doing equally well with that lead left hook. Again with the jab. Uh, Morundi's really got to learn how to do something off of that jab. He's got lots of opportunity. He just seems to uh, hesitate after he throws. A very basic fighter, but once again, Morundi's landing the more damaging strikes. He... He doesn't seem to have as many weapons in his arsenal as Atnito does, but he's using his weapons more effectively and doing more damage. He's very aggressive. Both fighters circling more, just looking for an opportunity to, to land what they've already been throwing. And back into that clinch. Atnito's answer to the clinch always seems to be a right hook to get out of there, and it's been, it's been getting him out of there every single time. Nice uh, round kick. Yeah, Atenito's left leg has to be feeling that now. He's, he's caught quite a few of those. Once again, more circling, more tactical fighting, and now Morunde's starting to set up that right, right leg round kick quite a bit. Again, showing his, his size and strength advantage. I mean, when he takes Atenito down, it's basically just driving straight into him, pushing him onto his back. And looks to be quite a big disparity here in, in size and strength in the favor of Miranda. Yeah, Miranda stacking up uh, Adonido into a side mount, side control. North-south. Very aggressive uh, fighter, Miranda. Pushing the action. Looks like he might be searching for a Kimura here, but now he's, uh, he's lost that. Doing well to control Adonido on the ground, though. Keeping his knees pressed almost into his face, and now finally he's got side body position. Yeah, Marundi definitely looks to be the solid uh, submission fighter here. He's, he's going to have belly. to do something soon besides just sit a knee rider. The referee's going to stand him up. 
Not Nito showing good skill at least in, in keeping himself aimed the right way at Miranda and, and not staying in that cross side position, but he hasn't been, been able to do much else. Yeah, Miranda definitely uh, taking control of this fight in the ground uh, in the ground game. Almost taking a full mount. Yeah, he didn't seem to really want it. I mean, he had the knee ride, but didn't try to slide over into position there. I think he's completely happy just sitting in the, the cross mount position and slamming those hammer fists in when he can get them. Uh, I don't think he's going to finish the fight from here, but this is going to affect the judges' scores, and uh, eventually we might get a stand-up here if that's all we're going to see. That needle really doesn't have an answer for Miranda in this position. All he's doing is laying on his back, you know, swiveling around, trying to protect himself, but not doing anything offensively, not searching for leg locks. Uh, there's not really a lot he can do from here. He's really, really suffering for being the weaker man out of the two. We have Morundi in uh, complete control for the past uh, several minutes of this fight. And Marito's, uh, Marundi is really working that knee ride, and I can tell you from experience, man, that is no fun when you got a big man putting the point of his knee right in your, right in your solar plexus when you're already fighting for breath. This uh, one definitely uh, slow uh, acting you down, obviously. Yeah, he's, he's gassing badly, and this is this is not even a point of fighting back right now. He's just just holding his legs up, trying to control him, control Marundi's striking attack, but it's. He's not really doing a lot to win here, not really doing a lot to advance the fight at all. Second round is definitely uh, all about Morunde. Extremely dominant second round for Morunde. This is not a hard round to score at all. And uh, even though, like I said, he's the more basic fighter, uh, Morunde has done a better job in this round of pushing the techniques that he's good at and, and really, really forcing his opponent to fight his fight. There we go, the end of uh, round two. Morunde justifiably confident. Walking back, his striking game looked a li little bit better this time. He wasn't just sticking that right leg out there. He was landing those right leg kicks to the thigh of that Nito a lot better and doing more damage. Uh, I'd still like to see him work that jab a little bit more, though. I mean, that, that was really working for him in the first round, or in the first and second round. Absolutely. Here we're seeing that Nito's one attempt at kickboxing with Morunde, but uh, unsuccessful. Morunde caught the leg, put him on the ground, and this is a good portrayal of most of the second round right here. Is Morunde just being dominant, just, just beating that Nito up, using his superior size and strength to control that Nito, keep him on the ground, and bully him. And nothing fancy, just good raw ground and pound, good raw body control. Great uh, display of uh, power and control from Morunde in round two. And Runde's still looking pretty fresh. Uh, at Nito looks all right too, but yeah, uh, he's got to be got to be a little bit gassed from laying on his back, getting hit all the time. And you can see by that flinch that his left leg's got to be feeling those round kicks. Yeah, they're both uh, appearing to be uh, still very much game. At Nito's punch is just a little bit less crisp, a little bit sloppier. You can tell he's, he's becoming a bit fatigued, and he doesn't want to take any more kicks off of that left leg for sure. I think uh, Marundi definitely uh, did some major damage in round two. Nice knee to the head in the clinch. Marundi still staying busy in that clinch. At Nito answering back with a straight knee to the solar plexus. Some really solid uh, clinch fighting uh, from these two. Yeah, this is good so far. I haven't seen any fighters getting lazy in the clinch. And it's, that's good. It's a time that you want to do a damage to your opponent. You know, it makes for a more exciting fight when fighters are constantly fighting in all ranges. Wide wow. left hook from yeah. At Nito, but sloppy. You can tell that he's, he's in desperation it's, mode now. Yeah, it's taking its toll. Marunda doing the smart thing. I mean, when you see your opponent's hurt, when your opponent's tired, it's easy to charge in and try too hard to finish the fight. He's staying back. He's picking his shots. He knows he's got a weakened opponent now, and he's just going to pick away at him and try to try to finish him off that way. Yeah, Marunda is uh, definitely a smart fighter. Again, that left jab lands. That is a great punch for Morundi to throw. I'd like to see him throw it more. And again, he throws it good. I mean, it was looking uh, a little, uh, little days here. A little sloppy. At Nito pretty much just falling on his back from exhaustion. He doesn't want any part of that Muay Thai clinch either. And again, we go back to the position with Morundi just looming over his opponent and raining down strikes. Some hammer fists. Good solid ground and pound. I can see this being stopped very soon. At Nito just totally covering up and a great stoppage by the referee. Very, very dominant win by American Top Team's Jesse Morunde pushing an ATT's record on the night to 2-0. Oh. Yeah, fantastic victory. 
they definitely, uh, this guy has, uh, has solid, solid skills. There's no doubt. The American top team representing very well this evening. So Morende stepping up to 2-1-0. Dropping Atnido to 2-2-0. And it, it, it was all Morende tonight. I mean, he was he clearly the stronger striker. Clearly the stronger athlete overall. And although Atnido was a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper in the early stages, Morunde just wore him down, just brutalized him, shrugged off all his strikes, sent heavy hands and heavy knees back at Atnido, and eventually just pushed him down and beat him into submission. A solid display of uh, ground and pound ability from uh, Bristol Morunde. Definitely uh, looking to see this guy advance up the, uh, up the food chain. Ricardo Laborio must be very happy right now. His students have gone to 2-0. American top team looking very good this evening here in Atlantic City. And Bristol Morunde obviously very happy with his performance tonight. Obviously a fighter to watch in MFC. 